It's your host, Agent Beamstar. Let's get right into the news. Hey, the juicy drama today, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot wait to tell you guys about all the drama. If you guys are new to the channel, don't subscribe. We don't want you. I have enough new people for our first story of the day. Guys, this is not really a story, but it's a nice chill way to start off because I'm telling you, the drama gets thick. I was on YouTube the other day and I saw members of the Sidemen were getting big bags for playing 2K which is a kind of smart marketing strategy. There's an audience that particularly watches FIFA videos and 2K is paying them to help promote and show their game. This is not something new though. If you remember a few years ago, there was a YouTube by the name of Fangs that was invited to Community Day and there was a huge uproar because there's a lot of people in the 2K community that didn't get an invite, but somebody in the FIFA community did. People found that weird. So this is just 2K stretching across the aisle to see if they can find some new audience viewer members and 2K players before Christmas. I thought it was interesting and there was a couple of videos. It wasn't like the first one that was promo. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're not working with NBA 2K, but they're working with 2K UK, which is the United Kingdom branch of NBA 2K. And so they probably operate a little bit differently than what we're used to here in North America. Anyway, it's not really like drama or nothing, but I thought it was interesting. Maybe you guys did too. Find it interesting as well also. For our... Hey guys. Leave people alone. What's good with some of y'all, man? Cash Nasty was feeling some type of way because people won't leave him alone on Twitter. He put out this post. I tried to play Perk the other night with my lockdown so I can give you guys some fire content only to find out that 2K patched lockdowns. You rarely get steals now, but guards can still spam dribble unrealistic. Why 2K? Why? Davis responded to his tweet, but then deleted it. And I saw it within 10 minutes. I'm always on top of my game as agent. Beam star, my guys. So Davis beat me to it and I don't know what was said, but Cash Nasty reacted like this. Stop, y'all hide behind screens and spam hesitations until y'all open. And it's bull, cause Hall of Fame pick dodger doesn't even work when y'all spam this. This is pathetic. They showing love to offense, but no love to defense. Blaze responded to Cash saying, both of you are wrong. Cash, if you use L2, it will magnetize you to your screens and give you poor animations every time. Instead of complaining about the game, please self-analyze and figure out why it's happening. Sick of creators asking for changes to the game to cater to themselves. I don't know about y'all, but it sure felt like shots were being fired. <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Sick of you thinking you're right. I know what I'm doing, been doing this since the first mode of Park was released. My lockdown barely gets steals now, period. I get penalized for each reach, but guards can just spam dribble left to right with unlimited screens. Game mode is unbalanced, and you can unfollow if you feel different. How the hell are you gonna tell me what I'm experiencing? Hall of Fame pick dodgers broken. Hall of Fame pick dodgers broken. Yes, did he just say the same thing twice? Yes, we are able to stay up from the guards, but we have to sit there and wait until guards out of stamina and pick the ball up. Lame ASF, guys. Very lame ASF. Now, I'm gonna say this. I don't agree with Cash, but God damn. I'm so tired of people attacking him just because his opinion is different than yours. What is wrong with some of y'all? His experience of the game is like this. Now, I understand if you might feel like he's influencing the game in some way and it's affecting how you play. But as we've realized the past couple years, we don't matter. They will literally do whatever they want, regardless of what we say. So he's telling you about his experience. Don't tell him he's wrong. He can't be wrong. It's his fucking experience. Someone quote tweeted Cash from the ISO community saying, get him out of here, coach. Dribbling worse enough. Leave us alone. You didn't grind badges. Be happy. Plus, you suck. Your opinion doesn't count, and we'd be damned if you were a developer. Lol. When's the last time you seen LeBron, Kyrie, or Harden get riped if you Whoa. Um, he probably meant to say something else. Ripped, most likely. If you want to be realistic. <sighs> okay, first of all, you have to use commas and periods. Because if you don't, I'm going to have trouble understanding what the f*** you just said. Cash responded saying, who are you? Question mark. So, all in all, we learned something today. Cash has this opinion. You might not agree. Shut the f*** up. There we go. Guys, we learned that. I'd be damned if I tried telling people that my jump shot feels different and some bozo come around telling me, actually, I mean, I'm telling you what it feels, bro. Anyway, um, thought that was some interesting drama. Y'all needed to be in the know.
for our next story of the day. Yo, Nate X is back in it because apparently he can't stay out these 2K drama alerts. He put out this post on Twitter and it gets sad before it gets happy. Actually, it doesn't get happy at all. Expect a stream today, just waiting to get a teammate. All right, Nate, Nate X is gonna stream for us, ladies and gentlemen. What a great stream we're gonna get from Nate X. Nope! Because Nadex followed up saying, WTF bro, I didn't do anything, showing that he got banned from NBA 2K20. I don't know if this is a permanent ban, most likely it's gonna be one of those like one week or two week suspensions, but they also didn't tell him how long in the post, so we don't know that either. I was just in a My Career game and I get error coded to the main menu and then I get banned. Like what? I've been legend for weeks. Never cheated, boosted. It's sad bro. And then some more Nadex Drama popped off because um, he decided to tweet about his personal life again. And this this news is very sad, guys. I know it's hard to take me serious because I'm always smiling and laughing and I enjoy drama, but this is genuinely sad. Nadex tweeted saying, never trust. I wanna explode, I'm not gonna lie. I was crazy at the house, I had to let it all out. I gave you way too many chances, I had to check myself. So I'm assuming some relationship drama was had. I don't know how to end that story, so we're just gonna move on. For the next story of the day. Um, yo, TW got in a whole lot of beef, controversy, drama, and stuff. And you probably heard a lot about it. Let's break it down, ladies and gents. It all started with the argument on Hollywood Stream. JFL clipped the stream and posted it on Twitter. This raw. The man T-Jack about to move back with Nade. LMFA. Yeah. Bro, what the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you I don't want to be in this house bro. Yeah, this bro. shit's getting ridiculous, bro. Yo, I literally argued with you nonstop the bro, last three days, bro. This, like, bro. honestly, get the phone out of my face, bro. Oh, get out of my room. Bro. Get out of my room, bro. The video goes on for like two more minutes. But basically, it was people living in the same house having an argument. Nah, listen to me. When I seen this, I was like, hold on. It looked real to me. Man, what the hell? Hollywood put together an Emmy Award winning performance. I've had a dozen arguments just like that with people I've lived with. Which is why I now know that you have to create rules when you live in a house with people. Because <laughs> if you don't have rules, you guys are gonna hate each other by week six. <laughs> but after all of that went on, things escalated on Twitter. Cole the Man tweeted, been living with snakes for the past year. I'm solo from now on. Grinding decided to jump into the mix. He said this, I know you're up watching drama, so go make yourself useful and give me a new show to binge watch. I heard that new Witcher show on Netflix was pretty good. There you go, Grinding. Cole Man expanded on his tweets though as things began to escalate. Would you be mad AF if someone wakes you up at 6 a.m. from screaming every morning? But this bitch wants to get mad because my dog wakes him up from barking at 12 in the afternoon with a whole lot of question marks. Hollywood tweeted, I'm done with this. TW ain't family. I never would believe somebody would say some shite like that. So then Chalk decided to jump in and this is when things got mwah, 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 juicy. He said MF is capping for a pub stunt, lol. He did another follow up tweet saying, who's trying to fake some beef with me so we can run our view counts up. <laughs> Grinding responded almost as if to provoke him saying, you suck, I hate you, please leave DF. Yeah, well, I always wanted to join TNB anyway. Frick you and your stupid mascot. Disrespecting Julia? That's it, tomorrow exposing everybody. Oh yeah, well, as soon as you make an exposed video, I'm dropping mine after so I can get even more views after you build the hype, pussy. Um, basically as if to mock what they believe the TW squad was up to. So everybody at this point is heated. Cole posted a tweet saying, I see who the real ones are. Middle finger emo- I can't really do a middle finger because they might demonetize me, so I'm just gonna use the ring finger, baby. All you fake ass fans. Hank posted saying, he left TW. This is when Cole finally uh, decided to take some shots back at Chalk because hoo -hoo -hoo -hoo, it got pretty juicy. Stop trying to throw shots at me next time. Don't talk about views either. Don't let this temporary clout get to your head. This legend will eventually die out. Die out. Bro, you, you finally scared me with did that I, shit. Did I? Yeah, because I was yes, in the zone. No, I was in the zone, bro. <laughs> Dudes be talking crazy when they just started this YouTube shite. Hit legend and think there's something special. Ego through the roof. Humble yourself, Chalk. Now, I will tell you this. There's a lot of YouTubers that I, I often communicate with. They just Hollywood as It's like, yo, why do you think you're like that? Now, I get if you're just busy or maybe you don't want to talk, that's fine. But Hollywood is not that. 
Hollywood is like when you think you're above people and it's it's a way that you move that gives people that perception. So I agree with what Cole's saying in that a lot of people are like that. I haven't spoken to Chalk before. I don't know if he's like that, but apparently Cole's saying he is. Joe Knows responded saying, let's get right into the news. <laughs> At this point, the 2K community might as well chip in and buy Agent of Mansion. I know this dude is living great right now. Crying, laughing emoji. I'm living fantastic. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> it's These 2K drama lords are the reason why my car looks like this. Hey, Waleed, I'm going to use this as a chance to promote my Instagram. So just uh, sneak in my Instagram photo. I'm actually trying to add an exhaust and downpipes. So if you guys can get in more drama, I can help make that happen. <laughs> Joe Knows responded, why don't you donate all your revenue to him? Stop being selfish. Yes, 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 donate all your revenue. Yes, I'll take it. <laughs> Since all the rest of your beef has been fake, I'm gonna assume this is too. But let me know if it's not. I could definitely share a piece of my mind. It is. What the hell is wrong with y'all? Y'all can't tell real from fake? There's so many times where I've seen something real on YouTube and the comments were calling it fake. And then I see some so obviously fake in the comments think it's real. It's like, what is wrong with some of y'all? Y'all can't tell the difference? What the hell? Obviously it's not real. Obviously. Chalk decided to follow up with a tweet saying, talk to me nice, bro. I know you're still awake. Let me know how you really feel. I'm here for it, Cole. Honestly, I'm kind of perplexed by this tweet. What does talk to me nice mean? It almost sound like you trying to flirt with Cole. <laughs> I'm just sitting here refreshing my notifications waiting for a response. Maybe I'll drop a video on it tomorrow. It's just funny. I really have a lot to say, so I'd love to hear if it wasn't a joke. Please, please, please let me know ASAP. Truly Huncho quote tweeted Chalk saying, you just trying to make money off of beef. Stop this. If you're a real man, don't handle this on Twitter and YouTube. Meet him in person. What? Meet him in person? Who the f is flying to go confront somebody? You know how much free time you have to have on your hands to fly to somebody for a confrontation? <laughs> That's not real man, bro, at all. Ah, okay, so I should just let Badge Plug or Agent make the video and get the money people name drop me and beef? Of course! Also, Agent is not making no money off drama. Beam Star is, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, just yesterday, due to all the drama, I was able to add underbody lights to my car, and it looks like this. I know, it's so beautiful. It looks so amazing. I know, you don't have to tell me. Anyway, you guys can see more of that at my Instagram, call me Agent Z-E-R-O. <laughs> and then everything actualized. After a series of videos being dropped across a lot of different people's channels and the drama escalating further and further, finally it was revealed that TW is no longer TW. This post was made on Twitter. You thought TW was over? Next chapter begins now and we're only getting started. So basically, the team is still together, but they're going by a different name now. And so there was a different array of reactions, of course. There was the people that were like, man, what the hell? So all of that was fake? And then there was the people that were like, oh, we're so happy for you. You guys are doing big things. Chalk obviously wasn't happy because he just found out he was right all along. Listen, last thing I'll tweet about this TW, I promise you, I have an ego, but the, whoa, he just admitted that? But the entire promotion is them flying on jets and flexing their sports cars and boats. I'm egotistical. Stop believing everything your favorite YouTubers tell you. LMAO. What kind of believe everything I tell you? Bandit quote tweeted Chalk saying, damn, Dexter's Laboratory, let them troll. It's not that deep, fam. When you're getting your fans to turn against me because you're tweeting about me of all people having an ego, it's definitely that deep. Especially when you have that kind of platform. Block me because you don't see the value in your fans. MFers really let their fans be disappointed and upset because their favorite team was ending just so they could run up a bag. LMAO, no other word but sad. And he showed a screenshot here of Cole blocking him. Of course, the drama didn't end there because everybody had something to say about it. Mike Krizemba even jumped in the mix on Twitter with these sarcastic tweets. Starting a YouTube team, thinking of calling it Team Witness, reply if interested in joining. Phantoms responded saying, interested. To which Mike Krizemba replied, nah dude, I heard you don't take out the garbage. That's a deal breaker for me. Memeing one of the reasons why TW said they were originally breaking apart in their troll videos. You have ants in your room, LMFAO, you a big. Don't even know why I still follow you to be honest. Dude, my puppy woke you up once at noon and you wake me up every day at 5 a.m. on the stream. Get over yourself. Get over myself? 
We moved into a content house. How are you surprised I'm yelling at 5 a.m.? We are streamers and YouTubers. I am creating content. You wouldn't know anything about that, lol. Can't wait to move out. So basically, they're just mocking TW. Honestly, I was kind of expecting a response from one of them because that would have been fantastic drama, but nobody from TW responded. So what have we learned from all this drama, ladies and gentlemen? Trust everything every YouTuber says to you. No, nope, that's about it. That's the moral of the story, fellas. Nah, in all honesty, come on. I knew, all right? But at a certain point, I don't really care whether something's real as long as it's not impacting me. Like if you're saying I said something and you're lying and faking it and it makes me look bad, I'm gonna be like, yo, cut that up. But if it doesn't affect me, I don't really care as long as the people that are consuming the content are entertained by it. I don't even think that was the most effective way to promote, to be honest, because in all of their videos, they announced their team at the very tail end after a long and dry first eight minutes. Like not that many people are watching by the end, my guy. I would have just came out and said it to start the video. So anyway, besides the point, I'm happy for those guys. They're doing big things. But more importantly, I think above all of that, we've learned get into more drama so I can improve my car. <laughs> you need the money, my guys. That's it for the drama today, ladies and gentlemen. If you guys enjoyed, watch the last 2K drama alert or watch this meme video right here or watch every NBA live in one video or watch every NBA 2K in one video or watch none of those and go outside. Don't do that last one. <laughs>